So your PC's fans are running and you also see RGB lights are on but there is no monitor signal after a power outage in your home. When it's a power outage event due to lightning strikes, this is something like your home electricity went off and suddenly came back right away, without tripping your home breakers, causing a power surge that could damage your home appliances including your PC. In this video, I'll tell you what will happen to your PC, what components has been damaged and will teach you some possible fixes after such event. I'll also teach you how to protect your PC from this situation. So let's get into it. Now let me just inform you that your power supply has a very big role during the power outage event. Depending on its manufacturer and features, this could or could not save your entire PC components. So what do I mean by that? If your PC got a generic power supply and it is directly plugged into a wall outlet, then suddenly the power went off and back right away, your entire PC part could be damaged. I mean, literally everything. You have to check it individually and you have to ask a friend with compatible PC to test out your drives, RAMs, motherboard, GPU to confirm if it's still working. You can also test your power supply using a PSU tester like this. If LED lights on and shows correct voltage in its LCD screen then it's still working. Otherwise, LCD screen will show nothing. Now, if your PC got an 80 plus certified power supply and it is directly plugged into a wall outlet, if ever there will be a power surge like I mentioned earlier due to lightning strikes, power supply will take all the damage, keeping the entire PC part safe except for itself. And yes, at this point your PSU is dead. To confirm this, try using the PSU tester I mentioned earlier. If it's still working, that's good news. If it's not, then the only option you have is to buy a new one. So check out the links in the description below for our recommended power supply units. This is why I recommend you guys using an AVR or what we call the Automatic Voltage Regulator. AVR is a hardware device used to maintain voltage to electronic devices. Basically, you plug your PC into the AVR and you plug the AVR into a wall outlet. Once the power comes back after a power outage, a sudden surge of current rushes into electricity supply. This means your appliances are in constant danger every time the power outage occurs. A VR or what we call the automatic voltage regulator can be a good source of protection against these frequent occurrences. Better yet, if you got more cash to burn, then just use a UPS or what we call the uninterruptible power supply. When utility power drops below acceptable levels, the UPS will supply the power from its battery so that you can keep working or playing. In case of a blackout, the UPS unit will provide power long enough to safely shut down your PC and prevent data loss or equipment damage. Now, if you can't afford an AVR or UPS, you can use a power surge protect extension like this one. Plug your PC here before you plug it into a wall outlet. If ever a power surge occurs, this power surge protect extension will take the damage keeping your PC safe. The only downside of this is that it is not as reliable as the AVR or the UPS. My overall point in this video is that you could never know when the power surge will happen, so you need to protect your PC from this event. So never chip out on choosing a power supply and always go for an 80 plus certified feature. Use an AVR, UPS or at least a power surge protect extension cable for your PC so it will be safe. If you don't have any of these things I've mentioned, then you better buy one for yourself today. As per usual, I place some links in the description below for you to check it out. By the way, in choosing the correct AVR or UPS wattage, you need to calculate the total wattage of your devices, namely your PC, your monitors, if you have two or more than monitors, your audio equipment, etc. That will be plugged into the AVR or UPS. After your calculations, make sure that the AVR or UPS wattage you will buy is about 25 to 30% much higher than the devices you will plug into it. So that's it guys, this is Mac and I hope you found this video interesting and helpful. If it does, make sure to give us a thumbs up and share it. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next one.